Those who call on Israel to stop attacking Hamas in Gaza are helping to prolong this war and cause further unnecessary bloodshed. Hamas is beginning to break, with an estimated 7,000 terrorists killed, around 30% of their fighting strength. The IDF are reporting more and more terrorists demoralized and surrendering to their advancing troops. There have also been signs that ordinary people in Gaza, whose lives have been devastated by Hamas's actions, sense their growing weakness and are beginning to turn on the terrorists in a way that has never before been possible. Anyone who really wants to see an end to the violence in Gaza should not be calling on Israel to let Hamas off the hook by a ceasefire. Israel must continue its offensive until this terrorist threat is defeated. The right thing to do is to demand that the terrorists surrender, lay down their weapons and hand over Israeli hostages. Calls for a ceasefire give Hamas hope, as that is the only way they can survive. They encourage the terrorists to fight on and are grossly irresponsible. Instead, every action of the international community should be aimed at making Hamas lose all hope.